Hello. Wants to make a statement. I'll be right in. I just sent Sam after him. He should be in a few minutes. All right. All right. Do you want a lawyer? I don't need one. I don't see why you would if you're confessing. Confessing? <laughs> I can prove I didn't run over that woman. What are you talking about? That's right. I can prove that I was in White Oaks on the afternoon of March 17th. How? I got a parking ticket that day. Oh. Why didn't you say anything before, Mr. Hunter? I, uh, I wasn't alone. And I was afraid that if I mentioned it, you'd drag the other person in. So what? The other person's female, right? And if you're not married, she is. That's why you didn't want anybody to know you were together. Well, we don't need to get into all of this. Listen, I don't give a damn what you got going on the side, fella. I want to see a parking ticket right now. I, uh, I don't have it. Well, how convenient. Um, I gave it to, uh, the other person. <laughs> She was going to pay it. Probably already did. Well, at least we've established the gender of the other person. Well, that doesn't mean I was doing anything wrong. Adultery isn't a crime. Hit and run is. What's this other person's name? I told you I don't want to get her involved. You want to go to jail for manslaughter, mister? Hey, can't you verify this ticket some other way? I don't know anything about anybody. I could call the traffic court in White Oaks. Then do it. Of course, it doesn't open till morning. You mean I have to spend the night here? Uh, could I post bail? You could go to night court. Whatever it takes. Of course, you have to understand that it is a standard procedure for the prosecutor to ask for a high bail and for the full amount to be posted. Which means unless you have a small fortune, you're going to have to wait until the banks open. In the morning? You're really enjoying this, aren't you? You think I'm happy now? Better take a look at me after the judge pronounces you guilty. <laughs> <laughs> you cops are all alike. You slap the cuffs on anybody you please. And then you throw them into your filthy cell with all sorts of sleazy characters. And then you leave them there to rot. While you take your ever-loving sweet time proving that they were innocent. Wait, are you going to produce this parking ticket or are you going to spend the night here with us? I want an answer. Look, I... Get this man out of here. Ginger, I... Hello, David. Oh, what, is this the other person, I presume? I told you to keep her out of here. This is Ginger Reed. She's a buyer for Bartels. And also Mr. Hunter's passenger on the afternoon of March 17th. He, uh, told you about that? More or less. Were you his passenger that afternoon when he got the parking ticket? And he didn't want you to come forward because you're married, right? Yes. My husband wouldn't understand, you know. If he ever found out I was seeing David. I, uh, I don't suppose there's any chance of keeping this out of the papers. I wanted Ginger to come down here all along, but uh, Sir Galahad uh, wouldn't hear of it. So when it was apparent that uh, things were getting a little rough for him, I decided to uh, take it upon myself to persuade her to cooperate. I did not need your help. These cops don't have a thing on me. Well, they certainly don't now, do they? I assume that my client is free to go. Like no, Kelly is. No, absolutely not. Not until we have some concrete evidence. I'm not about to let a manslaughter suspect walk out of here just because of some uncorroborated statement. Well, is uh, this concrete enough? It's a parking ticket. Yeah. Fortunately, uh, Ginger hadn't uh, paid it yet. It's legitimate. It's made out to his car. Mm -hmm. I don't believe this. Time and the place here. Time and the date. He's uh, illegally parked in a red zone in White Oaks when Tanya was here. I'm sorry, Christina. Your client is free to go. Let him go altogether? Yes. You heard what the man said. We don't have enough to hold him. He couldn't possibly have committed this hit and run. Time's the wrong. Like I've maintained all along. Let's get out of here. Oh, apology accepted, hotshot. Only the next time you want to play Sherlock Holmes, you let the big boys make the arrest. in the morning. Just the way. Listen. I know it's no consolation, but I understand how you feel. However, look, that doesn't excuse you going off the deep end. Now, if you can't keep your head on this one and pursue the investigation objectively, I have to get someone who can. 
I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Get some rest. We'll start again tomorrow at square one, all right? Can you give me an update on the hit and run investigation? There's an outside chance we may have a picture of the vehicle. A picture? Right. It was a lady that was across the street. She was with her grandchildren. She was taking pictures of them. She heard the screech of the tires. She jumped. I'm just hoping that maybe she might have got a shot of the car. It's a long shot, Lucy. I know that. I'm staying cool. It's just that... Well, I got some men looking for her right now. Right. Frisco. What's the word on our girl? The best. She's right outside. You want to talk to her in the squad room? Oh, uh, no. Bring her in here. I'd like to sit in. Good. Mrs. Gilbert. Yes, Menu, please. please. Oh, certainly they are. Hello, Mrs. Gilbert. Hello. Thank you for coming. Hello. This is the chief of police, Anna Devane. How do you do, young lady? Would you please take a seat? Oh, thank you, young man. Uh, you do remember our conversation that we had earlier, yes? Oh, of course I do. My goodness, my memory may be rotten about a lot of things, but you certainly don't forget being questioned by the police. Especially over such a sad, sad affair as that was. That poor young woman being killed like that. You know, ever since I read about that, I've had awful nightmares. Well, I keep seeing my daughter as the victim. and She's got three children. It's terrible. Well, I certainly understand your nightmares. <clears throat> you know, you just don't know your fate, do you? You can go just like that. Well, that's why I try to take some enjoyment out of every single day as it comes. Uh-huh. Why, even remembering that dreadful, dreadful day, I just hold on to the memory of my grandchildren. The sound of children's laughter is just so good for the soul. Isn't it? I yes. know, I have a little girl myself. Oh, here I am rambling on and on, and, and you probably want a third degree me. No, no, mm -hmm. not quite that. As I recall, you said you were taking some pictures around the scene of the accident. Well, yes, but I'm sure they're no good. Why's that? Well, the camera jumped just when I clicked. It jumped? Well, yes, yeah, sound of screeching tires, you know. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, Mrs. Gilbert, do you have those pictures? No. <laughs> you know, I've been just too busy to go pick them up. <laughs> well, would you mind very much if we picked them up? We'll right. pay for them. Yeah. Well, isn't that nice of you? Yeah. Oh, but they wouldn't give it to you without your uh, receipt. Maybe you have the receipt. Well, let's just take a look here and see. In here, what is it? Sally's phone number. I didn't know I'd written it. And what is it? What's what was, Oh, double coupon I forgot to use. They were having a special on jumbo eggs last week, and I just forgot to use. Where is... Oh, I, Take your time. Please. Oh, here it is. Oh. Yes. Uh, now, is there um, anything else you want to grill me about? No, no, no. Not a thing. And when we get the pictures, you can be assured that we'll get the negatives and the pictures back to you. Thank you. You mean I'm free? Uh, absolutely. Yes. Thank you very much for coming in. It's been a pleasure. Thank well, you. I don't know what it is you want, but I certainly hope you find it. Uh, well, you don't know how much I hope. Yeah. You know, young lady, after meeting you, I don't believe one word that Mark Carlin writes about you. Not one word. Mm -mm. Oh. Thank you very much, Mrs. anything or anybody work around this place? It's nobody's fault. Now, don't so... give me excuses like that. Why don't we have another computer in this office that might be Someone... operating in case something breaks down? The computer's not working. That's what's happening. Well, can't you use another one? What's the problem? No, we can't use another one because there isn't another one in this office. That's why. Sorry, Chief. They're all down. The whole system. They're all down? Great. Well, why don't you do something about it instead of just standing there? Do you think about checking... Maintenance is on it. They can't say when. Don't give me that about maintenance, Will. You know those guys. They could blow this whole case for me. It's nothing personal. It does happen, you it's know. It's personal when I had my finger on the killer on me. What are you doing here? Why don't you call DMV or something, huh? Well, she you know can't. That... Why can't she? Look, Frisco, I'm just trying to tell you they close at 5. It's way past that now. It's dinner time. Dinner time? Closed? Do you know how close I am to this? Don't give me excuses Look, like you're that. Not the only... Both of you now stop it. Sam, I want you to put out a new APB on that car. I want you to check with all the foreign mechanics and any dealers. I, I know it's late, it might be closed, but it's worth a try. Don, uh, would you set up patrols, checking all the side streets and driveways, and then I want you to take a dinner break on the department, you and Sam. And you could do with one, too. I'm fine. No, you're not you're out of line. Losing your temper is one thing. Losing your perspective is another. It's just a computer. Listen to me. 
It's a computer, right? There are other ways to proceed. It shouldn't throw you. You're right. I have no excuse. Frisco, I understand your feelings. Thank you. If you can't control them and put them aside and concentrate on finding Tanya's killer, I'm going to have to put someone else on this case. Do you understand that? I'll be fine. Don't do that, please. I'm so close. Please. I have to go somewhere, all right? Do you want me to stay? I can stay with you. Or not? No, I'm fine. I can handle it. I'm fine. Just take it easy. Chief, he didn't mean anything. Just upset. Just had to blow off some steam. All right. Keep your eye on him, will you? Keep me posted. I'm going to be at the quarter means tonight. If anything happens, just let me know. And that's all you did? You reamed him? Yes. Did you make any sort of gesture with your fist at his face to start a fight or anything? No, I had no intention of laying a hand on him. And he threw a punch at you, and the rest is history. Yeah, history according to Mark Carlin and Ray Gibbons. Well, he played right into their hands by going down to the Herald. He doesn't it? need to be reminded of that. Listen, I'm on his side, and huh? I buy the story. So do I. Thank you both. I only wish you'd been there to witness the event. It's his word against the others. Yeah, I wonder what my word is worth being an ex-con against a room full of so-called eyewitnesses. Let's not worry about that right now. Look, we're not going to be able to change the uh, stories of the people at the Herald. What we've got to concentrate on right now is getting you off on bail. You make it sound easy. I don't think it will be difficult. Assault and uh, destruction of property are not serious charges. I mean, you're not a threat to society or anything like that. <laughs> only my own worst enemy. Oh, you got that right. Come on, come on, Dick. And we work to build your case. Well, why do we have to go that far? Why can't you just clear him of the charges now before he has to be arraigned? You tell me. Oh, Anna's dreaming. No, no, I'm not. Listen, think. There were other witnesses in the room. What, what, can they back you up? Anna. Well, you said there were lots of people there. Everyone who was there works for the Herald. You won't find any mavericks there. Well, why don't we tiptoeing around for her? I'll go down to the Herald right now and get the truth immediately. No, because that's a perfect example of what they're writing about in the Herald. They're saying that I'm biased towards Duke. No, I am innocent. I just have to rely on Jake to prepare a solid case for me. Well, none of you look very optimistic about all this. Thank goodness I am. We'll get you out of this, Duke, somehow. Thank you. Um, Jake, I, I want to know if, uh, if he's convicted of the charges. What are the repercussions? The straight answer, Jake. If you're convicted, it means you broke the terms of your parole. You'd have to serve your previous sentence, full term of it. So, you know, it's really going to be very little time at all before we can pay off the entire 100000 and then we'll be able to be married. And, well, you know, since we found out that, everything's just been so much better. I mean, it's really brilliant. It's just so wonderful. I, and everything just has fallen into place. I mean, it's quite unbelievable. Including the L and the M's. We're only halfway through these suckers. L and M. L for love. M for marriage. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm a bit nauseating today. No, not at all. You're no. entitled to it. It's just, I'm so happy. Yeah, good. <sighs> it's everything. I mean, it, just everything seems to be glowing. I'm it's, glad. Maybe some of that will rub off on me, huh? But it's even, even these case files, I mean, it's all just brilliant. I'm happy to do it. Right. Glowing from red. Because of all the wonderful endless red tape. Oh, we're getting paid for it. I know. Hey, oh, speaking of payment, um, I'm going to pay you back as soon as I can for that hot water oh, heater thing. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay? Whenever you can. No, no, I take it while you can. I suggest it. I don't know where the hell the money goes, Anna. Oh, houses, they just eat it up. Believe me. Yeah, tell me about that. We found that when we were living at Tony's. We're leaving, you know. You moving back to the brownstone? Yeah. Police is trying to find Tony a housekeeper. She's interviewing some today, as a matter of fact. <sighs> it's not easy looking after a child in the house. Believe me, I know. I've done it. But I can't wait to do it again. I wouldn't give up my job, mind you. Mm -hmm. Still be a career woman. Well, things are a little different, though, when you have a child. You can't imagine how much. Oh. I'm beginning to. Is everything all right with you and Felicia? Oh, yeah. Things are great. 
I mean, we're very much in love and we're very happy. But she's been taking care of Tony's little girl, though, BJ. Does a couple always change when you have a kid? Oh, yes. But it's for the better. Oh, it is? Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that it isn't hard work and everything, and it's mm -hmm. always very demanding having a child. But then it, it's like you just begin to grow as a family. You know, like Robin and Duke and me. Well, I'm very glad for you, Anna. Well, I'm very excited for you because it's all ahead of you. You won't understand until you have your own child. There'll be problems and conflicts and stuff like that, but it'll be worth it. Believe me, a baby changes everything for the better. I'll get it. And yes, hello. Is this the future, Mrs. Lavery? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Is this the future, Mrs. Lavery? Yes. It's music to my ears, that. Well, just keep listening, love, because the lyrics get sweeter. Well, I'm listening. I have made a remarkable discovery. Terry made a huge mistake in my checkbook. And you're happy about it? I'm ecstatic. It's $3,000 in my favor. Are you serious? I'm delirious. And what was the good news from Angus? Well, that brings us $3,000 closer to our wedding day. You know, it's not a mistake. It's a mini miracle. Oh, and there's more. The club's also fully booked for this weekend. So, how has your day been so far? Well, it just gets better every minute. Fisco and I are up to our ears in case files, but you know, even that doesn't faze me. Well, think again, Chief. Cameron, where I go? I've got to go now. Last mile's the longest. In this case, it's file, and we're nowhere near the end. True, true. Oh, where my lot's been going today? Hello, Chief Devane here. Yeah? Hi, it's Felicia. Is Frisco there? Yes, he is. Hold on. This should lift your spirits. It's Felicia. Oh. Hi, honey. How's it going? Help. Well, first, you have to tell me what's what's wrong. Are you sick? I am sick of running into stone walls with this housekeeper routine. Do you know how many women I have talked to today? Well, <clears throat> interviews are rough. How many? I lost count. I've had vegetarians, people who work three days a week, some who will cook but don't clean, some who will clean but don't cook. And when I thought I'd found the ideal person, she opened her mouth and she never stopped talking. Tony'd so have to wear earplugs, otherwise he'd go crazy. Well, just hang in there. Sooner or later, the perfect person is going to walk through that door. If only that person's you. Will you be late? I hope not. Any chance you could make it home for lunch? Maybe. I got a pile of paperwork here. Well, I know I'm feeling sorry for myself. Really? I thought you were just missing me. Listen, I'll get home as soon as I can, okay? Bye. Well, Felicia's batting a big zero with the old housekeeper. Mm. Housekeepers? Yeah, she's interviewing for housekeepers for Tony. Oh, no kidding. My mom's looking for a job. I'll have to tell her. Really? Well, she can start tomorrow if she wants. Well, it's the kind of thing she's looking for. Well, here, have her call Felicia, really, now. Well, have her call her. Come on. I'm not sure I could get a hold of her just yet, but I will try in a little while. I promise. <laughs> well, maybe some of your good luck is rubbing off, huh? Well, I think it is. All right. That is enough for today. Why don't we clear this up and go over and see Felicia and give her some moral support? Well, she could use some. I'll tell you what, I'll clean this place up and I'll see you in a little while, okay? Okay, I'll go over. Anna? Yes. You do that. I will. Okay. Bye bye. Dressing, it's all right. It's a salad. Too much garlic, I knew it. No, I it's too much garlic. I love garlic. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I don't mean to interrupt you, but um, I need a favor. Yeah, what can I do for you? Well, you could help me get my marriage straightened out. Felicia and I had a <clears throat> bit of a run-in. She had a little point to make, and well, she was right. Well, I'm glad to hear you admit it. 
Well, I need to do more than that, Anna. Listen, I got some vacation time coming up. Two weeks. Yeah, you did. And, uh, I know it's short notice, but I'd really like to take it after the Blythe hearing's over. I just need to get the hell out of here and be with my wife and just try to get along, you know? Well, I will certainly try and pull a few strings. Thanks. Felicia's a lucky woman. Because I'm crazy about her? Yes, well, she's very lovable. Yeah, but she's that and she's married to the man that she loves. Well, you're heading down the aisle pretty soon, aren't you? I hope so. Well, it sounds like it ought to be more certain than that. Well, you know, I mean, I, I thought it was. We, you know, we got a retraction from Mark Harlan, and we seem to nearly have all the money we need, but... Well, now all systems are go, then, huh? Not quite. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know whether... I'm just being really foolish, but I feel like something is going to stop us from getting married. I mean, hey, Brown. Oh, yeah. Do you think so? I don't think so. He seems to need... Let's go input on something. Okay. Hello. Hi, Anna. Hi. I don't want to interrupt you. I need a favor. What is it? I've asked Frisco to request a leave of absence to help me out. As you know, I bought into HTI, and Greta Ingstrom has developed an antidote for a bacteria called MOX36, which the DVX is hot to get their hands on. Now, they're in cahoots with one of the HTI researchers, and I'm sure he's tracking Greta back to her home. And DVX. So you got the picture. Hmm. I'd like to send Frisco to Rockport, where Greta is. Would you know that Frisco and Felicia are going on vacation tomorrow for two weeks to Bermuda? No, I didn't know that. I, I... Don't even think about it. I feel honored. This is very big, I presume? Yeah, it's very big, very vital, and very important. Well, how important? You know, Corey Bly's hearing is tomorrow, and I have a personal interest in that. I don't want to let Tony down. Let's just hope that tomorrow isn't too late. Well, I minute mean, the hearing's over, I'll go, okay? You have to do. I just don't want that formula taken away from Greta, that's all. Are you concerned about this because of the antidote getting into the wrong hands, or because of your investment in HTI? Yeah, I'm concerned about my investment, but I'm also concerned about Greta and what MOX 36 can do to all of this. Honey, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, it's not the idea that I'm giving up a vacation. It's no, what is it? What? I'm just afraid for you to get involved with the DVX. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Don't worry scared. about it, huh? I know the tricks of the trade. Come on. The DVX knows all the tricks of the trade. I have to do this. Oh, yeah, I agree. I know. Okay. Can you see? Come on. All right, you got a deal. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, see you. Anna, are you going to okay the leave of absence? I wouldn't stand in your way, not where the DVX is concerned, no. Thank you very much. Okay. Very sad. I'm sorry. See you, Frisco. Here we go. Thank you much for having me. Well, we're glad you could make it. Thank you. Listen, don't worry about the needle. If you don't go tomorrow, you'll go some other time. All Frisco has to do is put in a request, I promise. You can count on that. I'm sorry, I was in such a lousy mood. It's all right. You don't have to apologize. I understand you're disappointed. Well, let's not jump the gun here, all right? Sean may have good news for me tomorrow. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If Greta's safe, then you'll be on your way. Just keep your fingers crossed. Thanks again for dinner. It was wonderful. All right. Yeah. Thank and don't worry, but Muriel's will always be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks for that. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Well, the hell with the people. You're the best police chief this town has ever had. Oh, come on, Frisco. I was certainly the least appreciated. Do you know, I'm, I was a public official, and I had to answer to the people of Port Charles, and I got some of the questions wrong. Well, how are you supposed to trust the judgment of idiots? I lost their trust, totally. Without that, I couldn't do my job. Have you heard how Duke's case is going? No. I don't care to hear either. Aren't you the least bit curious? No, I'm not. I don't care. Why is it? What's the matter? You've been crying. What I is know. it? Uh, just, just a little. What is it, darling? It's just that all my friends are so mean to me. Even my best friends. I don't know what to do, Mommy. They say such awful things about you and Uncle Duke. <gasps> this is why I don't care what's going on in Lorient. Hey, fellas! Hi! Hey. And Anna, too. <laughs> and Anna. Listen, if you guys want to break up the champagne, we can handle it. 
We certainly can. We have reached a decision, and we want you to be the first to know. Maybe the only ones to know, as a matter well, of fact. Tell them, Frisco. Oh, well, tell them. <clears throat> Felicia and I have decided that I'm going to join the WSP. Now, I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. Because we've given a lot of thought, and we are determined to beat the odds. We're not going to let the WSP ruin our marriage. You know, joining the WSB shouldn't be taken lightly. Well, we know that, Sean. We've taken this very seriously. We've thought about it, we've talked it over, and we've thought about it again. And again. So you have. <laughs> and you're positive. There's not a doubt in the world, Robert. And everything else should fall right into place. Right. And as for your personal life, well, we never wanted to give the impression that it couldn't be accommodated. I mean, it, it can be done. As a matter of fact, that's our motto. It can be done. Oh, really? That's mm -hmm. your motto? If it isn't, it should be. We all wish you the very best here. You know, thanks. Thank you for being so brutally honest to us. You helped us in our decision. We discussed it together. That's good. That way there shouldn't be any trouble. Here, here. <laughs> you know, this is going to be okay. Well, it's not fancy, but they call it home. Listen, after I finish my training, I'd really appreciate it if you guys let me know what's really going on around here. Why don't we call Hastings? Tell him he's got a new recruit. Yeah, why not? Get the ball rolling. <laughs> we talked to Hastings and he can hardly wait to get first phone train. Well, your recommendation didn't hurt, you know. Everything's all set, then. Well, when will you have to leave? Well, he didn't say. You'll get a call. The idea being that you'll have to leave at a moment's notice. Yeah, it's usually part of the indoctrination. I wouldn't have thought it would be till next week, there. I don't think so, no. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, Dusty and Terry are singing on Tiffany's show today. No, oh, I'd like to catch up myself. The audience wants to call in and say how much they like them. So. Well, maybe we ought to just hang out and watch the show and call in and show our support, huh? Uh, look, <laughs> I'm a little busy. I don't have time to sit down and watch a television show. Yeah. Well, all right. Congratulations, anyway. Yes. Congratulations, my friend. Whole tough, huh? Oh, good luck. All right. You'll do well, man. Bye. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. I'll call you later. I have something I want to talk to you about. Okay. Bye, Felicia. Bye-bye. Just one second. Oh. Well, I hope I'm interrupting. Of course. What can we do to discourage the dear boy? Perhaps we can talk softly to the dear boy. Look, old son, you see, it's like this. Every time you come around here insisting that we need your help, well, you see, I get to questioning myself. I get to thinking, well, maybe you're a failure, Bobby, because, why? Because nothing I say seems to convince you that we don't. You know, one of these days, you're both going to be begging for my help. But first training, starting tomorrow. They called you? Hastings called me personally. I leave early tonight. It's finally happening. It's like a dream come true. Thanks to you two and Sean. Well, you might think differently about that once you start. I'm going to be grateful for the rest of my life. And I intend to make you proud of me. You don't have to do that. I think what my partner's saying is that we're already very proud of you. Well, thanks. But I'm not going to be satisfied till I'm the best, like you. Mm. But you're our best. That's all that counts. I remember that. This must be hard on Felicia. Yeah. I think she's trying to pretend that it isn't. Missing our first anniversary doesn't help matters. Oh, it's been a year. Yeah. A lot's happened since then. And trying to pretend that it doesn't hurt... Well, I don't even want to talk about that. Unfortunately, you have to because you don't have much time. Ah, which leads me to ask a favor of you. I stopped at Collins Jeweler on the way over here. I picked up a little something for Felicia, but the engraver's not quite finished with it yet. And I was thinking if you didn't have a whole lot to do, maybe you could find some Sign him up. Sign up. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of it. You spend as much time as you can with Felicia. I intend to. Thanks. Yes, 
Maybe, maybe I can do it, Frisco and Felicia. What? Beat the odds. In spite of the WSB, keep their marriage together. Others have tried. 